<laughs> I know, it's a new band from Seattle, right? I'm gonna get Joe Lewis. Oh, Barbara Ann Scott, the white bomber, I suppose? <laughs> Olsen and Johnson keeps baby soft. And Johnny, the wonder something or other. <laughs> Look, it's the Arc de Faux Retreat. <laughs> Prozac, get work in today's society. This is the story of Johnny. A sad story. It all happened the day Johnny and his mother and dad crossed the border to see the famous Canadian National Exhibition. Oh, that sounds great. It was Johnny's first real grown-up trip, and there were many things to see. This is the last you'll see Johnny happy. There were exhibits on radio, electricity, flowers, photography, a real land of wonders. Boring. And a whole Scottish band. Johnny even got to the Midway for a ride, but the fun didn't last nearly long enough. Johnny's car rolled and burned. <laughs> there were displays from all over the world, from countries Johnny was just learning about. Fine porcelains from France, riches from the Orient, silks and pearls from India. Simulated culture like Disney World. It had been a busy morning, but Johnny's adventure really began just before lunchtime. A shot rang out! Was having a good time, but it's hard to decide where to go next. How about home? Johnny is sure. Let's go back to the midway, he says, pointing in the wrong direction. Why, Johnny? No, Johnny, says Mom. We're going to the art gallery. And you'll like it! No, I don't want to go! Johnny, that's no fun. Let's see what a fella can find for himself. Johnny's negligent parents let him wander off. Hey, Dashbury, please. Ding, ding, ding. Johnny's parents still can't decide. At first, they don't miss him. Who would? Then, a feeling of elation. <laughs> where's Johnny? Where did that boy go? With 250,000 people here, how will we ever find him? Johnny's parents decide to move on and start their lives anew. Ah, thanks, Johnny. Ah, this sweet freedom. Like With 15 cents in his Nobody's pocket and an afternoon ahead of him, Johnny puts his best foot forward. He isn't sure where he's going, but he's on his way. Girls! Run, run, run! Then Johnny hears a sound that starts him running. A baseball game. Oh, boy. But when he gets there, he finds the five-year-old can't get close enough to see anything. Besides, the Mariners are playing, so who cares? Is, unless someone lifts you up and puts you on the lap of the undefeated champion of the world, hmm. Joe Lewis. <laughs> Joe hits Johnny up for 15 cents due to tax Good problems. Oh. Half the pain of having feet is Red Goose shoes. Next stop, the horse show. Johnny loves horses. He's just in time for the judges are about to award the prize. And it goes to Johnny. <laughs> the winner is this white beauty. Oh, my ear! Oh! Oh! Blue Ribbon Award. Jeez, the horse from Equus had it better than this. Then Johnny transmogrifies. He's a shapeshifter, and he breaks the fourth seal. He's a five-day-old Shetland and was born right at the fair. He weighs all of 24 pounds and is just under two feet tall. His parents didn't abandon him like Johnny's. Oops, sorry, Dad. Johnny feels dark hands pressing him onward. The voices in his head get meaner. Johnny can't read the words Chemical Wonderland. Oh, we've all but been there. there. People inside, so he thinks he'll check on things. A whiskery man hands him a small package. The he first one's free, he says. This, and a little vat. And lo and behold, before his very eyes... LSD! A rubber ball. Oh. Thank you. Johnny must have everything for himself. Johnny's off for more adventure. 